battle is breaking up. But as Sergeant Albert Vieira reports, their message carries on. For some, the farewell ceremony on the Kelly Barracks Parade Field spelled the end of the largest tactical signal battalion in the U.S. Army. But it can also be seen as a metamorphosis because of the five companies which made up the battalion, only the headquarters company underwent a redeployment in activation. The line companies carry on as redesignated separate air defense signal companies, much as the trunk of a tree separates into strong, thriving branches. Effective 27 October 1992, Charlie Company, 11th Air Defense Signal Battalion, is redesignated as the 286 Signal Company. By order as it neared the end of its history, the 11th Air Defense Signal Battalion did not just fade away. The battalion's commander, Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Morrison, believes they completed one of their toughest challenges in their final year. First of all, coming off the hills, the 11th Signal Battalion uh, was spread out throughout Germany supporting the 32nd ADCOM and uh, recently within the last year they came off of all the hills where they put remote sites in for communications and changed to uh, multiple or mobile subscriber uh, equipment or MSE. So we did the transition uh, within the last year. That's probably been one of the most significant changes in the battalion's history. Brigadier General John Costello, commander of the 32nd ADCOM, says the redesignated companies will continue to set new standards of excellence through their dedication, professionalism, and technical expertise. From the Kelly Barracks in Darmstadt, Germany, I'm Air Force Sergeant Albert Vieira.